Well, for us, it's a little bit different this year in, in that we added Sky to our portfolio as well. We have a partnership now with the USOC with LA 2028. And then the last part of it is just kind of reinforcing the importance of what the IP at NBCU can do for a brand overall. So those are kind of our three big priorities. A lot of conversations that we're having. Um, what I love about it is the creative atmosphere that we have at Can. Um, I don't like to be too programmed. I do have a lot of meetings set up, but I love the impromptu meetings that we have um, that kind of come across. Um, we're talking a lot about um, storytelling, which is the heart of what we do. Um, and it's just four days of just meeting a lot of people and just a beautiful atmosphere. Can is an interesting time for us because it's you're just kind of wrapping up the upfronts on the one side and then looking forward to kind of what's coming up. And in 2020, we have uh, a very important election as well as we also have the Tokyo Olympics in 2020. So a lot of discussions this week will fall into those two buckets. Right after our upfront um, meetings, uh, our upfront presentation, uh, a lot of the budgets actually started registering pretty quickly. So, um, yes, we are in the heart of it, but um, what I'm pleased about is everything that we talked about in the upfront with our audience uh, products and our storytelling and our content studios. We're doing a lot of collaboration with Xander, um, having a lot of meetings together. So those agencies that want to get to us are kind of coming together and we're doing a lot, of, uh, a lot of deals with us in collaboration, which is great. But yes, we are doing a little bit of upfront while we're here too. We actually sold a lot more in this upfront than we ever have in the past. We really focused on it and uh, focused on bringing it to planning groups and clients earlier than we typically have and looked at it from, you know, there's nothing that performs for a brand like the Olympics or so our goal is how do we really increase the number of advertisers that get to come into the Olympics? Because um, I think for a long time, the Olympics felt like it was out of reach for so many brands. The nice part is now with having over 7,000 hours, there's an opportunity to really democratize the games and have some smaller brands come into the game. So that'll be a new experience and I think that'll be a fun one for a lot of new brands. We're actually right now um, not the priority. They're um, talking about the uh, SVOD service. There's going to be a, a small beta that's going to be doing in uh, December, I think, of this year, but it's really going to be launching in March of 2020. So what we're doing is actually a lot of modeling right now and a lot of analysis work on the advertising portion of it, which is right now going to come out in 20 and 21. So for us, we've been looking at what are the experiences. I'm kind of whiteboarding it now because it's so open. Um, don't want to go back to what the ad models were of tradition, right? We kind of want to start, put the consumer at the center, have the experience be really amazing. So next time this year, we will be talking about the ABOD service, selling it in the upfront for 21.